Hello, Leo. Welcome to your horoscope. So, here's the good news is we're starting the weekend off with the moon in your sign, and it's going to be there all day Friday, most of Saturday. I mean, we're talking Pacific Standard Time now. Um, and then, so you have to make adjustments if you're, you know, if you're in Ireland, England, Netherlands, or other places. You're going to have to make some adjustments. <laughs> and, um, what I'd say for you is allow yourself to express yourself. Aquarius is your partnership sign. It's the opposite. It's a really hard one to negotiate. I've seen Aquarius and Leo couples before, and it can work. But these are two people that have super strong egos. One has very strong egos about their ideas. That's Aquarius. And another one has a very strong ego about their will and who they think they are, and that's Leo. <clears throat> and, um, I mean, you know, there's exceptions to every rule, but this is the general gist of it. And they're both fixed signs, so nobody wants to budge. Nobody wants to change. You know, it's, it's status quo, my way or the highway. This is what you can do that's going to make things better. You know, you've had some health issues. But now you can learn how to be a better negotiator and more of a sweetheart. And right down to it, Leo, your, your heart is in relationships. So I think you can make things work just by being giving and being your own charming, warm self. Because we need that warmth in this winter period. Your warmth is going to take up the temperature a notch. And when that temperature goes up a notch, things get more exciting and fun, possibly even erotic. <laughs> you know. 